Kamloops boasts one of the only downhill longboard parks in the world. As far as members of the club that rides here know, in fact, it stands alone as the only park on the globe designed from day one with a sport in mind. Well, it's unique in the sense that it's the only one in the world that was built with the intention of it being a longboard park right from the beginning. From when this was virgin land to where it is now, we knew in our minds that it was going to be a longboard park. Patrick Mutry was instrumental in the creation of the Kamloops Longboard Park. He's a key member of the local riding club, which incorporated as a non-profit in July of 2015. The park officially opened on October 15th and construction began in the summer of 2014. And other than that, every Thursday at 5 p.m., the Kamloops Longboard Club meets here for a little kind of networking session, gear swap, ride with all your friends, and just have an all-around good time. Jason Dahlgren is another regular on the local longboarding scene, which he says welcomes both visitors and new members. I personally like to go and say hello, introduce myself, and tell them that, you know, they're welcome here. And to come back more often. There's often a lot of people here, especially on Thursdays when we have our weekly session. And it's just a really good community and everyone is very helpful to each other and we all have tips to share. The one thing that the Kamloops Longboard Park still needs is a green run. This is the equivalent of a bunny hill on a ski slope and it would be a benefit to younger riders and those who are still new to the sport. We have, currently we have a black run, an advanced run, that's fairly short but really steep and you're going to be sideways for most of it. And then we have a longer blue run that's great to do with your buddies, navigate down the turns together and try and make those passes. Um, and then what we're lacking is a green run for people who are brand new at the sport. We could really use a green run here and that's going to be hopefully in progress in the next two to three years. Overall, however, this park is still an excellent place for riders of all levels because of its soft and grassy shoulders and the lack of traffic on its tracks. For Kamloops BC Now, this is Lauren Kjalmerson.